quantum swap test. If you want to know how close is one object to another, you will measure a distance between them. In two-dimensional Euclidean space, the distance between two points in a plane is the length of the path connecting them. In three-dimensional space, it is the distance between two real valued vectors. Euclidean distance is the most common use of distance measure in machine learning. Many machine learning algorithms use distance measures between feature vectors at its core. The most famous algorithm of this type is the K nearest neighbors algorithm, or KNN for short. For example, we have two datasets, blue diamonds and purple stars. The new example is orange triangle, and we want to figure out whether it belongs to diamonds or to the stars. Therefore, we choose K examples from the dataset which are nearest to orange triangle. In the figure, k is equal to 4, and 4 nearest neighbors are 3 diamonds and 1 star. Therefore, the new example belongs to diamonds, because they are in the majority. So, basically, the distance metric is a metric to evaluate the similarity of two feature vectors. In quantum version of k nearest neighbors, one can use another distance metric to evaluate the similarity of two feature vectors. In quantum computing, computation is performed in a Hilbert space. The main difference between a Hilbert space and any other vector space, for example Euclidean space, is that a Hilbert space is equipped with an inner product, which is an operation that can be performed between two vectors returning a scalar. For two vectors x and y in a Hilbert space, we denote the inner product as bracket xy, where bra x is equal to the conjugate transpose of ket x. Thus, the inner product between two vectors of the Hilbert space can be calculated as shown on the screen. In the context of quantum mechanics and quantum computation, the inner product between two state vectors returns a scalar quantity, representing the amount to which the first vector lies along the second vector. Therefore, it can be used as a similarity measure between vectors x and y. The absolute square of the inner product can be obtained through a quantum routine called a swap test. To perform the swap test, we need two registers containing two vectors a and b and one ancillary qubit, which is initially set to zero. A Hadamard transformation sets the ancilla into a superposition. Controlled swap gate swaps the two registers under the condition that the ancillary qubit is in state one. A second Hadamard gate on the control qubit results in the following state. At this moment, it is obvious that if ket a is equal to ket b, the control qubit will be in the state 0 with 100% probability, because the second term in psi vanishes. Now let's calculate the probability to measure the control qubit in a state 0 for an arbitrary case. Psi is the state of the system before the measurement. When we perform the measurement of an ancillary qubit, it will thrown into one of the eigenstates, 0 or 1. According to the measurement postulate, probability to measure the ancillary qubit in a state 0 is the following squared inner product. Now we substitute expression for psi. State 0 is orthogonal to state 1, therefore the second term vanishes. Now we can write down the squared absolute value. After multiplying of two expressions in brackets and doing some simple math, we get the probability to measure the control qubit in a state 0. This probability depends on the squared inner product of vectors a and b, 
It means that the overlap between A and B can be evaluated from the measurement result. It can be shown in a similar way that the probability to measure the ancillary qubit in state 1 is almost the same expression but with minus sign. So, if we measure an ancillary qubit in state 0 in 50% of cases, it shows that the two quantum states A and B don't overlap at all. In other words, they are orthogonal, while a probability of 1 indicates that they have maximum overlap. In experiment, we execute the quantum circuit n times and get a measurement result m i -th. m equal to 0 means state 0 and m equal to 1 means state 1. Then we can evaluate the squared inner product from the measurement results. The equality is fulfilled only if the number of measurements tends to infinity.